Hello, Christina of Red Soul. Thanks for turning, tuning into this video, and happy Constitution Day, Patriots. Of um, some of you have uh, become rumbles, rumblers, and been viewing some of my videos. So I gladly appreciate that. I try to make this these contents or this content in videos as patriotic as possible, where we still in and love of the Lord while we still have a country left. And not just me, other patriots uh, like Charlie Kurt and Fox News Family, Larry Elder, Candace Owens, Diamond and Silk, um, Mike Lindell, uh, uh, creator of My Pillow. Um, it's important to that we support these patriots because free speech is under attack. Uh, uh, liberals say they want diversity, but as I've said before, it's only when you agree with them 100%. So before I go into this interesting article I found yesterday, I want to read a, a few things about the Constitution, then I'll go into like the background, a quote from George Washington, and then I'll go into the preamble. Okay. It says, This Constitution was proved word for word against the original Constitution housed in the archives in Washington, D.C. It is identical in spelling, capitalization, and punctuation. I'm teaching English for a number of years. That's important. Yeah. And in size, in accordance with one produced by president or former president Thomas Jefferson, one of the founding fathers. So this is the, the Constitution and Declaration of Independence. Okay. And um, from some of the founding fathers on this side, if you really want to buy this pamphlet, it's, they have it in English and Spanish. Um, you can order it online. I can't, let me see. Does it have anything about uh Plegger P L E D G R I think that's the website where you can go and order one. I think I got mine within a week and they're only five dollars, maybe two or a few other dollars in addition to shipping and handling. George Washington quote If to please the people we offer now notice when they say the people as the American people in general. Okay, that's what that article the means. It's specific. Not bring uh talking about a certain race, even though, you know, liberals like to lie and say, Oh, it's just white America. No, that the people printed right here. And if you really don't believe me, you can go to Philadelphia and read it for yourself at the Declaration of Independence Museum. Offer what we ourselves disprove. How can we afterwards defend our work? Let us raise a standard to which the wise and honest can repair. The event is in the hand of God. Okay, most of them believed in the Bible. I don't know if I'm sure all of them were Christians, but they did believe in the Bible. Preamble. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more per perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, and promote the general welfare. This is actually the president's job. Not, you know, as we had presidents in the past, going overseas, apologizing for the country, uh, being more dedicated and protecting one, uh, a world religion other than Christianity, biblical Christianity, where this country was founded on. That's the president's job. What I just read. Okay, establish justice. Ensure domestic tranquility. Provide the for the common defense 
and promote the general welfare and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our prosperity. Do ordain and establish the Constitution for the United States of America. Wow. How come I never learned this in school? I didn't even know about a Constitution Day until I heard it on Charlie Kirk's show earlier. Imagine that, and it's getting worse what they're teaching children. Um, just a bunch of lies about the background. Yes, this country has sins just like any other. Um, lying about the background of political parties, the big one that Candace Owens mentioned about party switching, all that nonsense. Political party switching. So, this story really burned my soul because <laughs> this is a side of, of uh, I'm talking about Governor Kirsty Nam. Now, I know she had backbone and she was uh, strong, headstrong, but I didn't know she would go off like this. Cause, and, and you know how I know? I knew she was a good leader when she was the only governor that didn't shut down. Especially the 4th of July event that was over at uh, Mount Rushmore. Also a beautiful place. I went there uh, my third year in college. So, she's talking about President Biden mandating vaccines. Her response, she's taking him to court. <laughs> And here it says, in case you don't know who she is, here's this lovely lady right here. I um, I missed her speech at CPAC this year. Uh, I think I had to go to lunch and stuff like that. And while the line was dying down because Trump was going to speak that same day, you know, I wanted to come back as quickly as possible. But there was a line meeting her because she was still there after her speech. There was a line there. She was talking to someone. So... I didn't get to meet her in person, but hopefully during another conservative event, because she's usually, um, like Dr. Ben Carson and others, those are usually um, the the uh, main speakers at almost every uh, political uh, conservative event. So it reads, last week, President Biden claimed this is not about freedom or personal choice regarding COVID-19 vaccinations. The value of personal responsibility far outweighs government mandates, especially as we learn more about COVID-19. The vaccine and the therapeutic treatment options, the Constitution grants public health authority to the states. We will not be mandating COVID-19 vaccinations in South Dakota. The Biden administration has no business forcing vaccinations on the American people through executive decree or rule. Biden has no constitutional authority to do so. That's right. He left just, they pick and choose, pick and choose. I remember when Trump was in office, he wanted to send the National Guards in, you know, extremely troubled urban cities like Chicago and now New York, it wasn't this way when I was living there, but now it's gotten worse under this new governor to protect the citizens there. And they were talking about suing the man or suing, like getting some type of executive order. So I guess that shows how much they care about their citizens, especially those in the urban areas. The case was, the case law cited by those supporters of Biden's actions does not defend what he is doing. Those cases are based on state and local public health powers. They send a key distinction, distinction and reserve to the states respectfully or to the people. I think um, our governor here in Texas also um, is taking a stand. Chief Justice John Marshall's given versus Ogden opinion in 1824 reiterated the fact that Americans' founding fathers were familiar with responding to public health crisis. 
They force outbreaks of diseases such as yellow fever. The federal government did not mandate the response to those outbreaks. State and local governments did. The state should lead a pandemic response. As governor, I will continue to honor the wishes of our founders by taking my direction from the Constitution. I will continue to value freedom and personal responsibility. Right on, woman. By overplaying the, his hand, Biden may inadvertently increase vaccine hesit hesitancy by saying our patient is wearing thin. The president risks denouncing the American people. Americans should not be forced into vaccinations. People should know the facts. They should know what conditions may make the, them vulnerable to serious health consequences from the virus. They should know how effective the COVID-19 vaccines are, and then they should make the best decisions for themselves and loved ones. We will continue to make vaccine available to everyone in the state and work with our health care experts to take care of the people live here. Okay, that part is cut off. I'll skip that. I'd encourage Americans to get vaccine as I did, but that choice is theirs to make. And, you know, I did a podcast with this uh this little beef between Joy Reid and and um uh Nicki Minaj okay about this 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 crap about the vaccine and um i played a clip of the video too so if you want to go to uh red hyphen org and i actually have created a page where my podcast is has all the all over 50 something episodes and over 200 people uh 200 plays okay um, that's listeners, okay, compared to the Rumble videos. So if you want to check that out, again, it's red hyphen soul, okay, soul that calls you to be alive, dot, dot O-R-G. Because, uh, that, and I did that, despite of all the other channels I've been in, uh, I've been uh, subscribed to, Odyssey, iHeartRadio, Spotify. People haven't been getting access to them. So that's why I went ahead and posted on my on my website. And um, hopefully if I'm blessed, I'll turn into a business and start hiring some, some patriots. Preferably young people um, who have difficulty getting jobs. Whether they have a degree or not. So not the federal government to make them. President Biden, quote, if you take this unprecedented action and overstep your constitutional authority, we will defend our people and see you in court. Uh, you think he'll show up for that? I think he better, I think he better leave her alone. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, that, that, this is a, a, a true patriot going to make a stand. Now, I would, I mean, as far as a female president, I wouldn't mind her at all. Um, for a long time, it was Condoleezza Rice, but she doesn't want to do it, and besides, she doesn't have any backbone. Then people are saying Candace Owens. Um, I mean, it, she can go for it if she wishes, but I don't know if the American people, I'm not saying people won't vote for her, um, but... Um, I don't think the American people are really ready and you know she still you know needs some time I mean as far as her political career is concerned but um, that's all I have this is a nice way to end a Friday have a wonderful weekend um, I'm gonna celebrate later and go out and watch the ball game uh, old American pastime old oh, this American sport by the way older than and in my opinion, better than the NFL. But I digress. Again, this is Christina of Red Soul. Thank you for listening. 
pray for our nation, our brothers and sisters, and the persecution persecuted church globally. Bye-bye.